Hey, 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 it's Tampa J. What's going on, guys? So, I just can't take it. I have cabin fever. I am not the type of person to be stuck in bed all day. So, with my foot situation, I just got to get out there and get some footage. I will not be getting out of the car, so it will be hard to get a close, close look. But hopefully I'll be able to find some fun stuff for you to see. I will see you soon. Off the beaten path I go, and that's exactly what this antique store is called. Off the beaten path. And it looks pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff. Maybe when I get back on my feet, I can actually check it out. And that's one thing I wanted to talk to you about. If there's anything that you guys see that you like or want to see more of, and once I get better, I can go there and check it out more. Just let me know. Comment below. Anyways. That was a really green house. Dun 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 dun! Check out this guy, it's old Sharky Poo. Jaws, AKA, it's a shark. Well, I have reached my final destination. Look at this old gas station. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I like those. Anyways, again, I have reached my final destination, and this is Tarpon Springs, Florida, more specifically, the Sponge Docks. And why is it called the Sponge Docks? Because this place right here is the natural sponge capital of the world. And these boats that you see, these are the sponge boats. And everything around here is called the Sponge Docks. Look at that dude, he was a famous sponger. We'll get back to him. But anyways, Tarpon Springs is also known as Little Greece. There is a huge Greek population, and as you can see, a lot of Greek restaurants, which naturally come. Check out that big Trojan. Yes, there is a lot of Greek food, a lot of Greek shops, and a lot of Greek bakeries in Tarpon Springs. And the majority of those are right here down the sponge dock strip. You know, people from the sponge docks are called Spoonies. That's right, Spoonies never say die. Yeah, I tried that. Oh well. Anyway, that restaurant right there is the best Greek food here, and I've tried four or five restaurants, and that's the favorite one. Anyways, back to this dude. The statue that we are looking at is for the memorial of the fearless sponge diver. To properly sponge, you dive down off the boat and bring them back up. Look at that smiling sponge and all those sponges on the sponge dock. There are so many stores down here that sell so many different types of sponges, even loofahs and hand soap with sponges. And if you like fishing, this dolphin deep sea fishing 85 foot to George's boat is absolutely my favorite place to go deep sea fishing. And my family comes here once or twice a year and we go out all day and catch a lot of fish. Look at those bikes. Live gators at the Tarpon Springs Aquarium and also live sharks. And if you like seafood, no Tarpon Springs visit is complete without having Rusty Bellies, the best, freshest seafood in the Tampa Bay area. And I am not biased. I've tried a lot. And all this seafood comes right off the boats. Yes, that's right. Tarpon Springs community is an old fishing community. And a lot of the restaurants in Tampa Bay area actually get their fresh Gulf Florida fish from these docks also. Not just sponges, but also crabs. Here's an example of those cages in action. So let's move a little further down the road. Up along the left side of the road, you will notice Holiday Seafood Fresh Fish Market. One of the many fresh fish markets caught fresh off the docks. And check out this half day fishing tour. I never knew this one existed. And for those of you that don't know much about deep sea fishing, 
the difference between a half day tour and a whole day tour is a half day fishing expedition is about three to four hours and a full day is seven to eight anyways i have to wrap up this tarpon springs sponge dock vlog and again if there's something that you saw today that you wanted me to take a closer look i will come back once i get better off these crutches i will come back and i will check it out there was so much i couldn't show you because i couldn't get on my feet but again thank you i appreciate you watching and sticking with me thumbs up thumbs down i promise one day i will get good and i'll see you soon thank you so much have a great week guys